so the makerspace is really exactly what the word says. It's a place to make. Um, it, it's going to have a huge variety. Actually, it's not even, it's kind of the beginning stages, so we don't even know every detail, but you could make a craft project. You could make a Lego uh, building. You could, um, we're going to have a cricket machine to cut different shapes and cards out of. You could do that. We have a game center as well. We have paints and uh, even a sewing machine. So it's any space, it's a space that you can just make and be creative. Um, we're actually thinking about calling it like a creation lab or creation space so that, because makerspace is a little, a word that uh, most high schoolers aren't familiar with. The makerspace is basically just a place where the kids can come and work together and find out new things and just, I guess, work with some of the stuff we have in here, just to create projects. Elementary, middle, and high school libraries have been doing this for several years, and we've kind of been following those. We get to go to this uh, state librarians conference once a year and have seen some really neat high school maker spaces. So we were kind of interested in it. We shared it with our STEM class and we're collaborating with them and actually they've kind of taken it on and are are really going with it making it much bigger and better than even kind of our small idea started with. Uh, this will give the students like a place to go just to work together and be together and uh, create new friendships probably. Yeah, it'll be open to anyone. Our library hours are 6.30 to 2.30, 6.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. And um, so it'll be open for anybody to come in and use at any time. Or if classes wanted to sign up, like through their teacher, and a, whole, a teacher wanted to sign up, bring the whole class down so they could use the things in the makerspace or creation lab, they could do that. Um, also, we have stripes Monday through Thursday, so students could sign up for stripes and then come in and use that space during stripes here at the high school. Just, um, we all have a little bit of creativity within us and it's just gonna be a space for you to be able to let that out, to have some time to, and supplies that maybe you wouldn't have at home or you don't have enough of that you can um, kind of play around with things. I think it's just exciting that we're gonna have so many options. Like if you like to color, you know, there are these coloring books that are real intricate and you can make some really beautiful designs. If you like to do that and that's kind of a decompressor for you or a time to kind of help you relax, you're gonna have that option. If you are a um, more of a maker, I mean a um, 3D printer and wanna print something, you can do that. Uh, there are just so many options. Um, if you just want to play some board games or Scrabble with a friend, those are going to be all options. So because there is such a variety, it just depends on who you are as to what would be your most exciting part of the Creation Lab. Just a big shout out to the STEM classes. Ms. Sandlin Rogers and her classes have taken we shared it with her and she has just kind of taken off with it we are so excited they have gotten a grant for lots of supplies they are going to be they've already installed a um, squares of lego uh, like back tiles so you can build legos out from the wall uh, and a chalkboard wall so they have really been the ones that have taken this and made it such an amazing project well, the most entertaining part is basically we got to come in here and build it and now we're getting to paint a chalkboard wall on the back wall. Our goal is to open it up and kind of do a ribbon cutting and a, um, share with the, the school um, after Christmas break.